when the ACM was founded 75 years ago, you know, you might have raised some eyebrows if you'd claimed that computer science research was going to determine much of the future course of human civilization. Today, I doubt the same statement is even controversial. For better and worse, we live in a world that's been fundamentally reshaped, first by the stored program computer, then by the transistor, the integrated circuit, the PC, the GUI, the internet, the web, e-commerce, social media, and now AI and deep learning. Now, my own research area is quantum computing. I was lucky enough to play a role in laying the theoretical foundations for the first ever demonstrations of quantum supremacy. That is, rudimentary quantum computers that can beat all existing classical simulations on some contrived benchmarks. Something that's been announced within the past three years, first by Google and then by USTC in China. I'm optimistic that in the next 25 years, we'll see quantum computers with hundreds or thousands of qubits start to be used for practical problems in chemistry, material science, condensed matter physics, and possibly other applications beyond that. Having said that, we've learned that exponential quantum speedups tend to be extremely specialized in nature. I don't expect quantum computers ever to replace classical computers for checking email or playing Wordle or most of the other stuff that we use computers to do. On the other hand, if you look at the jaw-dropping recent successes of AlphaGo and GPT-3 and DALI and so forth, then within the next 25 years, I'd expect the world to be transformed in more obvious ways by further advances in machine learning. By 2047, it's even possible that much of the sort of quantum computing theory for which I won the ACM prize will be done by AIs.